Hey guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to go over some simple functions of your everyday multimeter. So right now here I have it set to voltage DC, which is going to be what you would use on a lot of vehicle testing. And we're also going to show you usage of the ohm meter right here. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, with one of our simple diagnostic steps. Uh, if you're having trouble starting your vehicle with our harness, you probably talk to one of our technicians and they're going to have you do a simple test to test for power at the injector. So what we're going to do is, this is a JZ harness, so the injector power right here is a black with an orange tracer. Now injector power is going to be common on all the injectors, so each injector will have a black with an orange tracer. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to insert our positive lead of the multimeter into the black with the orange wire. We're going to make sure nothing is going to get caught in anything or do any of that stuff. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ground this side. So obviously we see no voltage here. Now I'm going to turn the key on inside the vehicle and Brian's going to go ahead and give me a little help here. He's going to touch that to the ground to see if we have 12 volts. So now you can see that we have 12 volts here. So any coil or uh, injector will have 12 volts with the ignition power on. So this is a good test to see if your harness is actually getting powered up because we use a common ignition power inside the harness for a lot of the functions including the computer. So I think that'll sum up pretty much this test and what we can do it's just because the heat sink is grounded. So what we can do is uh, we'll do one with the coil next. Um, I'm just going to turn the key off and then plug that injector back in and we'll start with the coil. It was grounding the, the heat sink was grounding through the carbon. Uh, let me just grab a little screwdriver here. These coils can be a little bit difficult to unplug because they're so tight to each other. But we just use a little screwdriver to pull the latch back a little bit and then pop it off. Brian has already plugged the injector in for me there. So what we're going to go ahead and do, so these coils will be the same idea as the injectors. They're going to have a common colored power wire so as you can see the red is the power on here so that's going to be 12 volts you can see it's common to all the coils all of them have one red wire that's going to be their common power so what we'll do we're going to stick the probe in there i'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on and then we're going to ground the other side to show that we have 12 volts at the ignition coil So now that we've got the key on, we can go ahead, I can ground this right here. I'm going to ground it to the engine block again. So we're seeing a steady 12 volts. So that means we definitely have power at the engine harness and we're going to have power at the PCM as well.